Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. This is quarterback training. I'm Mike Pulaski, an 11-year pro, and today we're talking about cover two. We're going to look at a couple different options. We got a ton of college game film, really good looks, and I'm doing this one today for my dad. So you're going to want to check it out. It's coming up right now. Ready? For those of you that don't know me, I played 11 years of pro football in the NFL, the Canadian League, the Arena League, and the XFL. Essentially, every league that was viable while I was a player. I've also been broadcasting college football mostly since 1997. And so I've been either playing or announcing football games for the last 35 plus years. And so I've seen a lot of different schemes. I understand a lot about the game, and I wanted to bring it across to a lot of those players out there, a lot of fans out there ask me questions all the time, and of course, young coaches who are just getting into the game, bring them some, some of that high-level knowledge that I was able to pick up over the course of my career. Today, we're talking about Cover 2, a couple different looks at it. There's as many different versions of Cover 2 as there are defenses that run it. So today, we're just going to take a look at a couple versions of it, but this one goes out to my dad. He passed several years ago, but... He asked me after my first TV broadcast, he watched it and said, Michael, I absolutely love that, but what's cover two? And so I thought for the first coverage breakdown, we would get into cover two. So for you, Dad, love you. This one's for him. You coaches, players at home, take a listen. We'll talk about cover two, weaknesses, strengths, routes that work, routes that don't. And right now, we'll go to the graphic. So anytime we talk about coverage and you hear the numbers zero through four, we're going to be talking about the number of guys that are deep. Now, after that, it gets a little bit squirrely. Right now, we're going to be talking about cover two. And in this case, cover two means that you have two men deep, essentially one, two. And those two guys split the field. So each one of these safeties get one half the field that they have to cover. You can see it's illustrated by that gray box. That's their zone that they have to cover. So pretty simple so far, right? Cover two, two safeties are covering the deep zones. Granted here, we have a four-man rush. So let's talk about that. Four-man rush, four, three teams for the longest time were synonymous with being cover two teams. And so four-man rush, two men deep, that gives you five underneath zones. Count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so pretty simple so far. Essentially, what teams are trying to do with this is they're trying to take away the quick passing or efficient passing game. The timing drops, the slants, the hitches, the quick outs, all of those things because you have five guys across the field. So a football field is 53, you know, approximately yards across. It's 53 and a couple of inches. And so... Each one of these deep guys has to cover 26 and a half yards a piece. That's a lot. But when you break it down to these five guys underneath and you break it down into five underneath zones, that means each guy only has to cover roughly about 10 yards. And so it makes it really hard to throw the quick stuff into those underneath zones. So the strengths of cover two in the passing game, it takes away a lot of the quick game. Stuff like slant, shoot, there's an answer for it, right? You have a corner here for the shoot. You have a backer dropping into that slant zone, takes that away. Curls, you're going to get a hard press from the corners. And this guy's got to find space in here to work. Same idea, takes that away. Can't really throw out routes against it. So it takes away a lot of his underneath stuff, the, the five-step drop with timing and the three-step drop stuff. So let's talk about assignments in cover two. Traditional cover two, the corners are going to force inside release from these outside receivers. They, they traditionally would wall off that outside and force these guys back in because they're trying to force these routes and funnel them into their safety help. So both sides of the ball, corners would force inside release. Now, some teams have gone away from that, and we'll talk about a little variation on that, but they would force inside release. Then from your linebacker position, Outside linebackers, hook to curl. Inside linebacker, full hook zone in here. Outside linebacker, same thing, hook to curl. And both your corners, of course, have their flats. So these guys are both covering flats on both sides. Here's a flat defender as well. 
And so all those five underneath zones, very well covered, five underneath men. We talked about the safeties on top. Each one of these guys have deep half. So strength of this coverage is that underneath is covered extremely well. The weakness in this coverage comes in the fact that only two guys are deep. So what does that give you? It gives you that middle of the field, the whole shot. We've talked in other videos about middle field open, middle field closed. This cover two look is a middle of the field open look. So vertical routes coming through here are winners. What teams will tend to do against cover two is they'll run three verticals. So you get receivers on the outside running verticals and one guy running right down the gut. What that does is it stretches these safeties. Whichever side the quarterback works to, he'll key that safety. So if quarterback is working left here, let's go ahead and draw that up again. If quarterback is working left here and he's got three vertical, because that's where his vertical is coming from, three verticals down the field, he's going to be keying that safety. And so if the safety gets nosy in the middle, decides to run through with the seam, he's got a hole shot to the outside. If the safety decides that he's going to come outside, drift out here and be influenced by the outside route, now he's got the, the middle seam shot right down center field, right down Main Street. And so if the safety stays right where he's at and you want to throw that ball, the down the middle of the field shot is a much quicker shot for a quarterback. So you can put that on a line right now. It's not as long of a ball to throw, so it doesn't stay in the air as long. And that's an easier throw to make for a quarterback. So three vertical is obviously a weakness of cover two. Another weakness of cover two is the area in between zones. So in between safeties and above linebackers here is another weakness. And so routes like dagger, where you run somebody through the middle to run that safety off, you run the receiver down and bang, hit him two yards inside the numbers, that safety should have depth that receiver running through and clearing him. Remember, this linebacker is dropping hook to curl. So by the time he drops out to curl, you'll be throwing that ball off his inside shoulder. So those type of routes beat cover two. You can work cover two underneath with something like a stick route or a get open where you get a singled up wide receiver against a linebacker. But again, it's dicier. It's a tougher throw for a quarterback. You got to be really accurate and position throw that ball. So that's essentially cover two. The other thing about cover two is because you have seven guys inside this box to start and corners, after they give that tough release on the outside, can be force players. They can come off and cut off outside run. It's a tough run defense. You essentially get seven guys in the box and then outside help with contain from your corners. When I say force when I say contain, what that means is they are the widest player and they're not going to let any running game bounce out past them. They're going to turn it back in to the players coming inside. So force would be a guy stopping outside, containing that play. Fill would be a linebacker coming into fill or somebody coming in to fill that hole and chase across that the force has just turned it back into. So a little football terminology there for you. So that's an essential look at alignment assignment cover two. Now let's take a look at a little bit of college game film. First clip is going to be Cal versus BYU in Provo a couple years ago, and it's a straight cover two. So Cal actually has 12 personnel in the game here. And if you're not familiar with that terminology, one running back, and these are two tight end types. So that means 12 personnel. BYU is stuck with their base personnel in the game. And so you can see early on here, BYU is trying to disguise this coverage. They've got safety in center field, trying to make it look like middle field closed. As this moves, and I'll move it forward a little bit here, you can see they rotate out and very clearly cover two, one half, other half, and five across down below. So clean cover two look at the snap of the ball. Cal has a little quarterback keep on here. But let's talk about against a straight cover two look, what works. 
Okay, from this formation, this would be a fantastic play for Cal to run a smash route. If you haven't seen my video on smash route, you'll see the card up above. It's great primer on the smash route. But here, if Cal wanted to try to attack this cover two, you could run corner, little out push, and then smash, and then run a vertical seam with this receiver. That vertical seam would hold the safety. You'd likely get the whole shot on that smash. So that would be a great concept versus cover two here. Again, as you look at this, you're seeing these corners are playing that traditional cover two, forcing that inside release. Corner outside here is cocked in. He's going to force that and try to funnel these routes up to their safeties. Another great play like we talked about could be that three vertical. Really try to force that outside release by this receiver. Get vertical down the middle vertical on the outside really stretch those safeties and with this third receiver you could literally run shallow cross and what that would do is it would hold these linebackers underneath and give you a hole shot right through here that's what you're looking for as a quarterback if you're throwing that three vertical into cover two down the middle of the field you're going to throw it between 18 to 22 yards that's where are you going to get that ball and stick it in? If you throw it any deeper, it's in the air for way too long. Gives these safeties a chance to react. If you're going to throw that whole shot, again, it's going to be somewhere between 20 to 27 yards, maybe 30, but that's a long throw to the outside. So the quicker you can get it to them on the outside, the better. The reason it's deeper is because it's a longer throw. It takes longer to get to them, and your receiver should be clearing through. They also have routes in offenses where these receivers will hit it hard and then idle down. So oftentimes when you see cover two, you'll see these corners, what's called route reading or pattern reading. As they make contact with their receiver on the outside here, they're looking back into number two. If number two gets vertical, then corners will literally fall off with them. So same thing here. It'll look in here, no number two. So it would be a back in this case, maybe this guy coming out. But if nobody threatens his flat, He'll get vertical and flatten underneath to try to take away that hole shot. That's one of the adaptations they've made for cover two. In this case, Cal runs the ball. Quarterback keep. Gets a couple yards out of it. And we'll take a look at it from the quarterback's perspective here. You can see right away, first thing, safety in the middle of the field. Remember, we talked about it. This is the disguise. If they stayed in this look, that would be middle of the field closed. So... With him there in that center field position, that's a middle field closed. But as they move forward, BYU walks out of it early. And so right here, as a quarterback, you should get that clear read that it's cover two. In this case, it doesn't matter because it's a running play. Bears are blocking it up up front. Trying to get in with a little quarterback counter. Now let's take a look at Cal versus Oregon. This is in Berkeley. And you have a pretty clean cover two look right off the top. You can see safety up top on the hash. This safety is down a little bit lower, but he's still a good 11, 12 yards off the ball. Corners and secondary linebackers straight across down here with a little lurker a little bit higher. So as a quarterback, if I were under center at this point, I would be reading cover two. As you snap, if you move the ball forward just a little bit, you can see... Safety gets more depth, coming straight down the hash, staying straight down the hash on his landmark. Pure cover two. Now, Oregon plays this differently in that they start high. So their corners are already starting seven yards off the ball out here to the left-hand side. So as a quarterback, you see cover two, you're going to have to expect that these guys are going to settle a little bit. You have to be wary of that. Cal, in this case, actually runs that smash route that we talked about. Great cover two beater. One of my favorite all-time routes. We'll run that back one more time here. So watch. You're going to get that vertical push to the corner route. Smash route underneath. In this case... The corners already got so much depth on their drop. They weren't trying to reroute anybody. They weren't trying to force anything. So right now, you know this is open. As a quarterback, 
efficiency. If you see it, you hit bang three in this case because it's a shotgun snap, and you throw that ball out to the smash. This is a good read by Chase Garber's good delivery on the ball, and you pick up six yards and come back for the next play. Now you can see this from the quarterback perspective once again. You can see here safeties on the hash. One, two, landmarks essentially right up the hashes. And Garber's keying out to the flat right now. Good job sticking his foot in the ground and putting it on his guy. And now we're going to take a look at one of the variations. A lot of the NFL teams for a long time went to Tampa 2 in terms of their coverage. And that's a different coverage. We'll go over it in the video later on. But it involves the linebacker running down the middle of the seam to take away that middle open hole that we talked about. So a lot of college teams tried to mimic that, but they found that their linebackers weren't quite athletic enough. They couldn't force the run the same way. And so a lot of teams in, at the college level went to what's called a two-robber look, where they're bringing DBs in. It's generally out of a nickel package. And so they're using a DB to take away that middle hole in cover two. Essentially, it becomes a cover three, really. But this is a look at two-robber. Again, we're going to go back to Provo, Cal versus BYU. So in this case, what BYU is doing is they are, they've got their nickel group in the game. Cal is in 11 personnel here. One running back, one tight end. BYU went to nickel. This is actually a nickel player. And so you can see you've got two safeties on their landmarks on the hash. Roll up corners. Traditional cover two look. But what they're, what BYU is going to do here is they're going to walk this guy back and put him in the hole. I've heard it called cover two robber, cover two lurk, cover two Jake. Um, again, as many people as run this have given it a different name. So traditionally, a cover two robber look. And what this guy is going to do in this hole is he's going to rob that middle. So if anything vertical, be it the tight end in this case, be it this backside receiver, anything tries to get vertical into that hole, that's going to be him because, and we'll move it forward just a little bit here in the film. You can see he starts to get depth early. Because he starts from depth, he can also take a read drop with it. And so that way, if you get anything coming underneath a basic cross from a tight end or a climbing cross from the backside, he can also look that up and he can make a play on that as well. So we'll run it here. Cal gets the quick out, just a quick little bubble screen to the outside. In this case, just set up well that corner in position. He is going to engage because he's trying to force that inside release. So it makes it an easy block for this wide receiver. Quick little bubble to the outside, get the ball off, and gain a couple yards on the play. Good job. Nice block on the outside there. And good play for Cal. And you can see here, again, from that quarterback perspective, here's what you're looking at. This safety is on the hash. This is that robber coming in to take the middle of the field. So you can see that. This is pre-snap. You know what you've got going on here. You've got two. You've got robber. And again, everybody up here with that little bluff blitz look. You know now as a quarterback, you've literally got seven guys. So you've got five big guys, tight end, running back. If your tight end's getting out in the route, you know that you've got six guys total. They only have six up front, so you know that you're fully blocked off because the other five guys are across the back here. And again, we'll go into pass protection later on. We'll do a whole video series on pass protection. But as a quarterback, you have to be thinking partly of that too. What's my pass pro? Am I protected? Who do I slide to? Where does it go? In this case, Cal has it covered in terms of pass pro, and they're throwing a quick screen, so he's fine. This one's quick, easy for a QB. Get that ball out. And let your athletes make the play. All right, last clip here. This is Oregon State. As a quarterback, if I come up and see this look, I've got linebackers up, threatening. I've got guys level depth across inside. Now they're looking back in a little bit. So that kind of tells you maybe it's not man. But this looks like a cover one look. You've got safety in the middle. He looks like he's going to be that center field player, meaning it's going to be middle of the field closed. So pre-snap read, you get a cover one look out of Oregon State here. Now, 
as we go forward, they do a really nice job. Boom, at the snap. Watch this safety flying out. Other guy flying out. That's going to give your cover two look. The center fielder that we just talked about is now going to come up and play that cover two robber. These corners on the outside, you notice they're not going anywhere. They're just reed stepping right here. They're going to stay and occupy that flat. What they're trying to do in this coverage is they're trying to give the quarterback for Cal a cover one look so that he reads man. So he's thinking man on his throw. It's called disguising. They're disguising this defense. They do a really nice job of it, of not moving until the snap. So because Cal is giving that play action fake here too, it's hard as a quarterback to give that fake and keep your eyes downfield, be able to read that in the secondary. So excellent job. Good scheme by Oregon State in this case. And watch what Cal has here. Boom. They've got three verticals. This guy's going vertical. This guy's going vertical. And then you've got this middle seam coming. If you got that pre-snap cover two read, right now you would be letting that ball rip because this robber, even though he's in the middle, he's got his feet square. You can put that ball over the top, hit this guy down here about 22 yards downfield, and that is a home run all day long. You've got exactly the play you want against this coverage, but Oregon State did a great job of disguising it. So we'll run it back from the beginning. I'm going to play it in slow-mo so you can take a look. These guys move right at the snap. So excellent job by Oregon State of not giving that away. Good disguise. Cal has what they want, but here's what talks the quarterback out of this throw. This is a little out route from a tight end. And this corner sitting out in the flat talks the quarterback out of it. He sees that. He knows if he throws it out there, this guy's going to have a headache for about a week. And so he's not throwing that football based on that read in the flat. He got fooled into thinking cover one. Against cover one, that out route is a winner all day long. But because they jumped into cover two, this guy's there to react to it. The corner on the outside does an excellent job of rerouting this receiver and then coming back inside, eyes back in to number two coming at him. So quarterback got fooled by the coverage. And that's exactly what they were trying to do with that disguise. I'll run it through one time full for you here. And watch your home run right down the middle of the field. If you throw it, that's a winner all day long. But quarterback got fooled by coverage. Sometimes defense is going to win. It happens. Quarterbacks don't get the read. In that case, Oregon State did a nice job of disguising coverage. And so those defensive coordinators get paid their money too. They won on that play. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications. We have new stuff come out. Give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. I will be happy to answer your questions. Love talking ball. I would love to help you out with the game. I appreciate you watching. I'm Mike Pulaski. This has been Cover 2 Elite Athletes TV and Quarterback Training. I'll catch you next time.